If you're ready to start the video, respond with total silence. All right then. Could you use some good news? First up this week, a new experimental treatment has enabled a paralyzed man to regain the use of his arms. Earlier this month, doctors at Keck Medical Center of USC in Los Angeles announced that 21-year-old Chris Bozen, who was paralyzed below the neck following a traumatic spinal injury, had regained the use of his arms and hands. As part of a clinical study, Bozen was subjected to an experimental treatment that involved injecting 10 million AST OPC1 stem cells into his spinal cord. Ninety days later, Bozen had regained enough control of his arms and hands to feed himself, brush his teeth, use his computer and phone, and numerous other activities he would not have been able to do prior to the treatment. This treatment could offer the same opportunities to other patients with traumatic spinal injuries, but for now, more research is needed before the treatment moves beyond the clinical trial stage. And as of now, the stem cell injections are only being tested on patients who have been recently paralyzed. This ASTOPC1 treatment is being developed by the company Asterius Biotherapeutics. Next up, understanding and controlling DNA regulation could hold the key to easing the symptoms of aging. It's been known for a while now that senescence, the deterioration of biological organisms with age, has a genetic basis. But a just-released study conducted by an international team of researchers has found that not everyone's DNA bears the same signs of the aging process, and that the deterioration of DNA as we age may not be inevitable. When most of us are young, our DNA is regulated. The proper genes are expressed at the proper time. Damage to cells is repaired. As we grow older, this regulation process breaks down, and the result is the symptoms we associate with aging. But while this result is common, it's not universal. This study found that some continue to have DNA regulation more typical of much younger people throughout their lives. In these people, genes associated with the symptoms of age were much less active. With stories like this, I often caution that the study I'm describing is only a first step, and that is certainly true here. There is a lot of work to be done to determine if those with more youthful DNA regulation actually enjoy better health and quality of life into their elderly years. But as of right now, Researchers are optimistic that understanding how the DNA regulation process works and changes throughout our lives could be very important in treating age-related disorders and also in fighting cancer. This study is published in the journal Genome Biology. And finally, a new drug delivery system could allow doctors to target their treatments more precisely than ever. That's going to hurt in a minute. Researchers at Singapore's Agency for Science, Technology, and Research, or ASTAR, are developing a drug delivery system that uses magnetic nanoparticles that can be controlled from outside the body, allowing doctors to deliver drugs to specific cells. The nanoparticles are composed of iron oxide mixed with a biocompatible polymer, which can also be tuned to respond to the acidity and temperature of its surrounding environment. The iron oxide particles allow doctors to control and precisely replace the particles within certain cells by manipulating magnetic fields. The ability to tune the polymer according to the pH and temperature enables doctors to create nanoparticles that will only deliver their drug payloads within the more acidic environment of a cancer cell, for example. This ability to selectively deliver drugs could not only reduce toxic side effects, but also allow drugs to reach their targets significantly faster than with conventional delivery methods. The study is published in the journal ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces. Experimental stem cell therapy enables a paralyzed man to regain the use of his arms. The key to treating age-related disorders could lie in maintaining our youthful DNA, and new nanoparticles could allow doctors to improve the speed, safety, and effectiveness of drug treatments. That's the good news. Do you want to do the Patreon pitch this time, or should I? Would you like to do the Patreon pitch this time? 
Okay, then I'll do it. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.